is awesome.
I, I saw ears open in particular and people healed where they stood. I've seen this several times. I've, I've actually been behind you and just leaning in, looking at where, how do you turn that switch on? You know what I mean? And, and somewhere in our conversation, he said, he said to me, you need to quit praying for people and start giving them something. Can you do that? See, we're waiting for a special speaker. We're waiting for a, another slick-haired, shiny-shoed evangelist to fly in on the jet. I'm not against any of that, by the way. I just let you know. I, I, I'm not against any of that blessing. But we need to quit waiting for another Messiah. Come on, another star or starlet, another prophet to give us another word of the last confirmation of the last 50 words we've gotten. We need to realize that we have this treasure in earthen vessels. And God fully intends to invade the, the church and then invade the world with the saints of God. That's you. See, these signs follow those that believe is not for people in the pulpit only. Good word, Tracy. Preach it, girl. Preach. Woo! My dog, that's awesome. Thank you. There's no way a few people, even as powerful and popular, and, you know, television land, they are. There's no way a few people are going to bring the fire of God into the streets. There is going to be an army that rises up in these days that brings heaven to earth. They become the distribution center of the kingdom of God. Come on. Come on. I'm going to put pressure on you tonight, and you're going to be so relieved after you see what these keys are. Come on. I love the haunting words of Jesus. And I can say haunting because the Holy Spirit... The Holy Ghost is a ghost and he will haunt you, okay? I'm not, that's not illegal. But the haunting words of Jesus, I do what I see my father do. Amen. I say what I hear my father say. And I go where my father sends me. He turns to us in his ascension and says, greater works than these shall you do. What I'm in is going to be multiplied upon your life. And in real reality craft Christianity, we're looking around, waiting for somebody else to be the Savior. And God's looking at you 